a very happy brain. <laughs> Friends, this is the story of how Broody, a very unhappy brain, became very happy. You see, Broody struggled with fear and self-doubt. He felt unsafe and unworthy. He didn't know what to do. Then Broody's friends suggested an idea. Together, they went to school to learn about the brain and about themselves. Come, let's find out what they learn. A short course in happiness. Your brain has trillions of junctions that magic millions of its functions. Let's learn about three traits of the brain that in overdrive can get you drained. First trait, your brain feels others' pain as its own. Your brain hurts just the same, in personal or beloved's pain. The same neurons fire when you are in despair and when someone else is hurting about whom you care. Second trait, for your brain, imaginary is real. Your brain lights up the same nerve bundles for events real or imagined stumbles. If you dream of a spider on your shin, it might cause the same dread as the real thing. Third trait, the brain can't tell physical pain from emotional hurts. The pain of a mean scorn stings the same as agony of a hurtful thorn. Broken bone and broken heart both cause the same smart. Millennia ago, the spiritual minds described in their devotions, hymns, and rhymes the same truths that the scientists of today write in thesis, books, journals, and essays. What do they all say? To find inner contentment and plenitude, snug yourself in the comfort of gratitude. Your greatest joys come from passions that are lush with true and deep compassion. Once you're lost in healing others and start seeing strangers as brothers, your brain will become the happiest of all, be it summer, spring, winter, or fall. When you pray for others, share their feeling. In touching their lives, you will find healing. Help others feel safe and cherished. The joys in your brain will surely flourish. If you agree, then don't wait. Don't miss the feast, nor leave it to fate. Start with the one a breath away, in this moment, now, today. <laughs>